Currently, there's been 3,500 mosquito species described worldwide. Off the top of my head, I think it's like around 20 species or 30 species or something like that of mosquitoes that have anything to do with humans. This is a question, an age-old question about why is it that some people are more attractive to mosquitoes than others? It's a combination of a trifecta of carbon dioxide, of temperature and body odour. So you kind of have to understand first off on how mosquitoes find their quarry. The carbon dioxide is what we breathe out. Mosquitoes, for instance, can detect carbon dioxide from up to like 50 metres, which is amazing. The interesting thing about carbon dioxide is that it's not only important for the attractant, but it also switches on the other sensors that are required for finding their host, which is kind of cool. So if you think about it, it's like this sort of mechanism that's lies dormant, but as soon as it gets any hint of carbon dioxide, all of a sudden all those other sensors for thermal regulation and picking up odours are switched on. The temperature that they like the most just happens to, you know, be the temperature that our normal body temperature is. On our bodies, we have a lot of bacteria. So it's estimated every centimetre of human skin, you have up to one million bacteria. In actual fact, the bacteria are really important because they break down a lot of the waste products that are emitted by our glands. And it's the bacteria that then breaks those down. So there's a release of a scent. And it's that scent that has been suggested to be one of the key aspects that mosquitoes tune in on. That bacteria, you're kind of inoculated with that bacteria when you're born. So when your mother gives birth to you, your skin that doesn't have any bacteria all of a sudden gets the bacteria from your mother as, you, as you're coming out. And that bacteria will then further develop in the first year and then you might have a dip, another change sort of around puberty. So that population of bacteria that you have on your body from a very young age is kind of conserved all the way through your lifetime. So they're actually found that people that have higher abundance of bacteria but a lower diversity are more susceptible to mosquitoes. A mozzie bite itches because it's an immune response. So the body's reacting to something that's invasive. And so it's repairing the tissue damage. It's a massive biomass of, of mosquitoes. And there's some areas of the world where mosquitoes are the main source of food for a lot of other animals that are there. I liken them to, you know, how sort of whales feed on krill. And krill is very small, but there's millions of them. And whales are huge, right? So without the krill, whales wouldn't survive. And in some parts of the world, mosquitoes are a little bit like the krill of the terrestrial environment. They have a functional role in, in helping other animals to survive.